Hello, I am here with the the Xbox Live gamer, Flaming Babies. Is there anything you'd like to say, Flaming Babies? Not really. I mean, like, all the things that they were said down in the game. Is there any guns you'd like to recommend? Well, right now, what I'm using is, I'm using a class called Stealth. What it is, pretty much, is this guy. UMP 45 silence, and I'm not through Africa. Preferably silence, but since I don't have that yet, I'll just use my guy. Okay. See how this gonna airdrop. What I was gonna do, I can call in anything I want, pretty much. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's totally bad. But anyway, back to the game. You want people to pass down, it's very important not getting caught. And would you recommend any hiding spots or like good Tactics? The tactics, you want to run a lot and stay away from your team if they don't have the same class as you do. Because the likeliness is that you're most likely going to get caught if you hang around with them. Let's see. And what equipment do you use? Equipment? Yeah. Stun text and flat, or stun grenades would be the best choice. And what do you do if someone steals your emergency airdrop? What do I do? Mm -hmm. Nothing. What is a precision airstrike? Let's meet up, you know, use the airstrike to the map. Yeah, since I pulled that other one, it's just not going to get caught by anything. I'll do a voice over. See there, I just got another airdrop. I see. Yes. Um. What do you, what's a good tactic for killing campers? Campers? I'd say, again, have those spawn. Those helps a lot with not, yeah. You see there, the guy went inside so I could not hit him. Is this a good tactic to use when one's up? For what? Is this a good tactic to use when a predator missile is up? Yes. Always have ghosts on. Ghosts will help no matter what the situation is. Right now, there's a bunch of campers in the game. And there's a lot of campers whenever you're dealing with like, whenever you're dealing with Marvel Fatigue. Any other perks, perks you would recommend? Uh, perks: marathon, full-blooded throw, and ninja throw. If you have it. I would definitely recommend those three perks. That's the best for being stealthy and not getting caught by your enemies. Mm. So, do you think if a person was very terrible at this game, they could improve with some of the tips that you have given them? Oh, definitely. Unless. There's also has been an increase in new tubers this year, and what that means is people really like to shoot, really like to use grenade launchers as their primary weapon instead of what they have. Which means that you will not get a lot of kills, actually. Yes, yes.
what would you for, for, what would you recommend for new tubers if they just are new tuber at heart? Well, if you really like the new tube, then I suggest you must keep doing it. Any perks you suggest? Any perks I would suggest? Yes. Hmm. For new tubers, danger clothes. Let's see, danger clothes. Probably commando for long range knives and one man army. If you just want to refill it, if you just want to refill your noob tubing areas. Do you think they should switch all their classes to noob tubes so that if they have one man army, they could just keep on noob tubing? Okay. Definitely, you definitely want to switch your approach. And what about level fours and fives, and you know, low ranks? What what guns do you think? I would definitely they? recommend the grenadier, the grenadier class. It, it helps you a lot with. Let's see. Well, it just helps you pretty much. New tube. Grenadier class has a Kamaf grenade on it, a grenade launcher, and uh, the Kamaf is a very very high powered weapon. All right, well, I think YouTube could use your tips. Thank you. This has been Talking with Flaming Babies about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. See you later, and see you next time. Is there anything you want to say to close out the show? Beware of self-bombers.